Good morning, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Or is it? It's a very gloomy Thursday morning. I don't know if you guys can tell by the lighting in here, but it's just overcast and gray and ick. Um, on the bright side, I tried shakshuka. I'm probably mispronouncing that for the first time this morning for breakfast, and it was absolutely delicious. I could not finish it, but it was really, really yummy. And um, bad news. <laughs> the bad news, I think, weighs slightly more than the good news, unfortunately, this morning. Um, so you might have seen in the last episode, episode 165, which you guys requested be put out early, and that means that it went out a while ago at this point, but it's over here in case you haven't seen it yet. Um, I had mentioned, the, probably the very last thing I mentioned is that our AC last night for me, several days ago for you guys, was doing a little bit of like a burning smell thing when we would turn it on randomly. And we'd been told that both the inside unit and the outside unit were kind of on their last legs, but that, you know, we would just ride them till the wheels fell off and then deal with it at that point. Um, looks like the wheels fell off, <laughs> basically just what, three nights, four nights, three nights before we're meant to start sleeping there. So no big deal. We'd resolved to just call an AC guy this morning and hopefully they'd get in there right away and fix the problem, right? Turns out that the guy we called, which is the guy that does like all of our family's repairs and whatnot, um, he can't go until next week. <laughs> so that means that we have two options. We can either not move in this weekend, which I've literally already like, the moving truck is booked. All of my stuff is over there already. Yeah, just basically, I mean, I've already canceled therapies for next week so that next week I can take my time unpacking and letting my son acclimate to the new environment before the holiday and before getting back to therapies and the whole thing. Everything revolves around we're moving this weekend. Option two is we do move this weekend, but we also know that the first few nights are going to be hot and uncomfortable. Obviously, neither of these are good options, but as far as I'm concerned, the commitment has been made to move, and so it's it's so far from ideal. But um, every room in the house, well, yeah, every room in the house except, well, no, I guess, I don't even know at that point, I guess half the rooms, my bedroom, right, the, the main bedroom, and the living room areas have ceiling fans. My son's bedroom and the therapy room do not. So all I can think to do is leave the ceiling fans on all day so that the air at least circulates and we keep it cool as much as we possibly can. And then we're gonna have to bring a floor fan over from here for my son for the time being in his room so that the air continues to circulate for him at night. But um, yeah. <laughs> so much for making him comfortable and making that first night, you know, easy and the transition easy. He's going to be hot as hell. He's going to be thinking if this is what it's like to sleep here, I don't want to sleep here. I want to go back to my old room. <sighs> but it's either that or continue to push it back. And we really can't at this point because of all the aforementioned reasons. So definitely not the news that I wanted this morning. And just because the guy goes next weekend doesn't mean that the repairs or replacement or whatever has to happen is going to happen next, not next week, next week. He didn't even say what day, or at least they didn't tell me what day. Um, my husband was the one that spoke to him. But um, like I said, yeah, like just because he goes on Monday or Tuesday or whatever doesn't mean that that day everything will be working exactly as it needs to. What if he needs to order parts? What if it's determined that he does need to replace one or both units altogether? How long is that gonna take? So yeah, not ideal. But it is what it is. That's just what we're dealing with right now. The last episode literally went up about an hour ago. At the end of that episode, I asked you guys to just envelop us in all of your good wishes, good intentions, good energies for this journey ahead of us. And so maybe some of you haven't seen that yet, but <laughs> go ahead and, uh, and, and get, get them going over here, please. We could really use them right now. Now, as far as the immediate, it's Thursday. Usually Thursday, or up until now, Thursday, we've had two therapies in the morning and then the afternoon's been open. But starting this week, 
and for the foreseeable future, we're actually changing our schedule. So it used to be, like I said, two in the morning on Thursday, all afternoon off, and then Friday we had all morning off and then we'd have two in the afternoon. And that's kind of a drag because that means our wait, our weekend like starts later. Turns out that our very last appointment of the week has had a change in her circumstance and now she needs to see us on Thursday afternoons instead of Fridays. That sucks in that now we have three things on Thursday when I'm used to having the afternoon off. But the good news is, is that we only have an hour and a half on Fridays, granted in the very middle of the day, which kind of cuts things in half and makes them difficult to plan around, but whatever. An hour and a half on Fridays from now on and the whole rest of the day is ours to do with whatever we want. So um, that's just is what it is. So today is the first day that we're doing three a day on Thursday. Luckily my son woke up in a good mood and everybody slept well, etc. So I've talked a lot. Let me wrap this up because this is for better or worse, our official moving in, moving out, first night at the new place vlog. And so I know it's going to be a long one. <sighs> Happy Thursday. Put together my son's dresser, did laundry, chilling. Good morning, my friends. Happy Friday. We have just the one therapy today, which is nice. Um, I'm gonna spend my morning Oh man, <laughs> I spend my morning. I'm gonna do my plan with me today, which I usually do that over the weekend and I edit it over the weekend, etc. But I I can't this weekend. This weekend is going to be jam-packed with other things that I cannot control the time frame of, etc. And so since I have the morning off, I'm gonna just record, edit, upload everything now so that I don't have to worry about it going up on Monday morning. And I'm also getting a couple grocery orders in this morning. I bit the bullet and ordered from Whole Foods again. I haven't ordered from Whole Foods in over a month because they changed it where it used to be Whole Foods grocery delivery was included in your prime. And so I just had to tip and I was totally fine with that. But now anytime you order from Whole Foods, it's a $10 surcharge. Plus of course, I'm still going to tip. I used to order from Whole Foods literally at least once a week, at the very least, sometimes even twice a week, if it turned out I ran out of something or remembered something I'd forgotten, etc. But it's been a month. So I just went and loaded up my cart with things that I know that I need, that I can only get there, and I paid the $10 surcharge. Um, that might be what I do, I guess, from now on, which is unfortunate because I used to rely on Whole Foods for all of my proteins, I just felt safer seems dramatic, but I don't know. I just, I like the quality of the meat and stuff there. But um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do about all that. I have the freezer like super stocked up, so I don't have to worry about that in the immediate future, but something for me to think about. Anyways, that went off on a tangent that I did not expect. What else is new? <sighs> Today is our last full day here. Tonight is our last sleep here. And I realized that yesterday that like, oh my gosh, like I'm, you know, obviously I've, I've processed everything and so on, but I'm gonna have to have a conversation with my son today and tonight about how this is his last night sleeping here. And it's almost like, obviously, duh, if we're moving and spending our first night at the new place, it stands to reason that we would have a last night at this place. But it hadn't like struck me that my son is gonna need this like explained to him. And I'm gonna obviously do my best, but there's always going to be sort of a barrier there. So that got me a little bit emotional last night. I'm getting me emotional now, but it's gonna happen, it's happening. So I'm just kind of gonna spend the whole day kind of every once in a while reminding him, hey buddy, just so you know, we're gonna have our last bath here. Hey, we're gonna have, our, you know, this is our last time having dinner here for now. And da -ka -da -ka -da. Um, because I don't wanna make him anxious for no reason or confuse him or anything, but I also don't wanna just kind of, ha, surprise, you didn't even know, but it already happened. So yeah, so that's another thing that's going on today. And speaking of, I have to 
finish packing up all of the bookshelves. I have to finish um, packing up my desk. Like all of the big things that need to go on the truck tomorrow, they need to be emptied and ready to go today. And every person in my life has made it a point to remind me of that as if I'm not already the most anxious person that they all personally know and as if they're not all fully aware of how meticulous and obsessive I am about listing out all of my to-dos days in advance and then a day in advance and then hours in advance etc it's one of my biggest pet peeves on the planet to be reminded of the things that I have to do because I promise not only do I know what I need to do, but I've thought about it obsessively since it occurred to me that it had to happen. And so anybody reminding me of those things just feels like they're rushing me. And it's like, no, 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 no. Listen, I'm already putting all that pressure on myself. I don't need it from you too. Literally every adult in my life today has been like, remember, you still have to do this. Remember, there's this to do. There's not a lot of time. You gotta stop. <laughs> so it's got me a little bit on edge and it's got my my day started on the wrong foot but there is a lot to do so i'm fully aware of that let me go and start getting it done happy friday is this the frantic energy that y'all signed up for because if not i'm sorry but i mean also what did you expect hi it's been literally 10 minutes since i last spoke to you i just checked my planner and realized that actually this morning we have therapy um, it was a therapy that we should have had Wednesday morning, but she asked to reschedule and I completely forgot. Luckily, I wrote it down, but that also means that I don't have the morning off after all. I'm going to have to do my planner video in what would have been my lunch break. And um, yeah, <laughs> franticness continues. So I often re-watch shows because I feel like for whatever reason, the first time I watch them, I don't fully absorb what's going on. So I'm re-watching the last episode of American Crime Story, as one does, and I just realized that they misspelled September, and no one, few people understand the thrill that I get when I catch a misspelling on something that's already gone live and cannot be taken back from the world. Real quick, like it's bedtime basically, but I realized it's been a long time since I've done an Arrow Garden update. So I wanted to show you guys what I've got going on right now. These are jalapenos and they've already started flowering, although they're not fruiting yet. But yeah, this is a jalapeno. This one is, what are you? You're a red, red fire pepper, which is like the Thai chilies, the long red ones. And again, this one is starting to flower, no fruit yet. This one is probably, no, I think this one is a purple, purple super hot. Another type of spicy pepper, again, flowering or budding, but no fruit yet. This one is also a red Thai chili. This one's another uh, purple super hot, which is very, very short. Like it stayed stunted height wise. But look how far along it is on the flowering front. So that's super interesting. Back here, I have whoop, cascading chamomile. I don't know why, if it's supposed to grow this way or what, but it's not flowering at all. And I thought that that's all that chamomile did. It's just leaves, but there's lots of them. And then I moved my dill over here, which is funny because all of the like outer older bits are very bleh, you know very unhappy and dry and just not doing well and then you look at all this new growth and the new growth is just kicking all the butt so i'm gonna guess that that's the way dill grows i honestly don't know it's my first time being successful at it and this i'm so proud of this these are bell peppers that i actually grew from seeds that my mom saved from you guessed it, a bell pepper. I put a bunch of seeds into one of the like plain open pots like that doesn't come with seeds. I know, Papa. And um, of all the seeds, literally only one sprouted and it happened to be this very strong, beautiful plant. So all of these are bell peppers. And look how funny how like, I think these are the males and then the females are the ones that have four. 
I'm not sure which is which. I know that one shape is male and the other shape is female. And I know that one of them is meant to be better for cooking with while the other one is meant to be better for eating raw. Either way, I've got a bunch of them. So, ta-da, bell peppers. Hey friends, happy Saturday. It's the day, the big day. Um, and today has had some very big hurry up and wait energy. Um, we've been up for a long time. We woke up at seven something and it's 11 o'clock or 11 something now. And there's a lot to do, a lot. But everybody kind of has their own plan <laughs> and nobody's really coordinating with anybody. So yeah, none of us are good at group projects, it seems. Uh, I'm doing what I can here while my husband and my dad are off with the moving truck. They've already loaded the first bit of things. They've taken it to the new place. They have to go to storage to pick up our dining room set. We're crossing our fingers at this point because when we first put the dining room set in storage, we were very deliberate about taping the hardware to the inside of the table, the bottom of the table, so that Whenever it came time to rebuild it, everything would be in its place. But other people have taken charge of moving the dining room table from storage unit to storage unit, from storage facility to storage facility, etc. That if they did not take that same care, that hardware might be lost. It only occurred to us this morning that all of this was a possibility. And if that is the case, if the hardware is missing, we've got to scrap that whole table and start over. And that's not something that we would love to do. Um, it's a perfectly good table and we weren't interested in spending any more money. But yeah, we, we honestly don't know at this point if the table's going to be usable or not because it's very much dependent on is the hardware still attached to where we left it. So that's uh, something else that's developing today. <sighs> I'm just trying to keep packing. I'm trying to keep a list of all the things that absolutely must be in the new place by tonight, like our bed linens, my son's medications, etc., because it's become apparent. And I feel like everybody knew this but me, or everybody <laughs> realized this but me. I was putting so much pressure on myself to make sure that this space was empty by today. It's just not gonna happen. There's too much stuff. And that's fine because it's my parents' house. So if I have to come every day next week, is it ideal? Absolutely not. But if I have to come every day next week and continue packing, sorting, tossing things, etc., I can do that. I have the privilege to be able to do that. So it's gonna have to happen because holy crap, there is still so much freaking stuff everywhere. <laughs> um, yeah, so today it basically is all about getting all of the necessities and moreover, or, you know, yeah, I guess moreover is the word, um, getting all of the big things that we cannot fit in our car over there because today is the day that we have the truck rented and, um, and everything else can kind of fall into place as it falls into place. Something that's further complicating the situation is that my parents are like, well, since we have the moving truck, let's take advantage and throw out every large thing in this house that we've ever wanted to throw out all at once today. So now it's not just let's get moved, it's let's get moved so that we still have time after that to clear everything out of here. So there's just a lot, there's a lot happening. And I, like I said, I'm very much feeling like there's a lot to do, but I don't know what to do. So I'm just gonna stand here and that's not helpful. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling all the things right now. Mostly just annoyed. <laughs> happy Saturday and happy movie day. Is it movie day if we're not annoyed? If we're not all annoyed and like just at each other's throats by the end of the day? Maybe that's just us. Happy Saturday. So the verdict is in. The dining table is a no-go. The hardware is missing. And also apparently two of the legs are too jacked up to like function as legs anymore. So we are without dining room table. 
which on top of the fact of just like it sucks to not be able to use what we you know we put away a perfectly good dining room table expecting it to still be a perfectly good dining table and it's not anymore um and so now there's the expense and all of that but also more importantly for me is that i'm trying to take advantage of this new space to kind of help create good habits for my son he's always been a grazer but the fact that he's a grazer means that it's really hard to get him to focus on eating and if he had a place to just sit and eat, um, or not even just having a place, but rather if we could instill that habit in him, which we have that terrible habit too of like, we just kind of all eat separately wherever we happen to be at the house, etc. I wanted to take advantage of this new setting to be like, ah, but in this house, we eat as a family at the table and we pay attention to our plates and we're likelier to try new foods because the only thing that's happening right now is just eating and so on and so on and so on. And now we are starting this new setting, this new environment without a table. So what is there to do but to allow him to just graze as he always has. And so that opportunity for, I know you're used to doing it this way, but at this place we do it differently, gone. No longer, <laughs> no longer eligible, no longer possible um to use that because my son is very much scenario oriented setting oriented and he determines for himself he decides on his own like oh this is the rule for this place or for this action at this place period and now that i've decided that this is the rule this is forever the rule period it's just what it is so because I know my son and because I know that that's the way that he works, that's why I thought, well, this is great because he knows that in this house, he grazes, etc. But at that house, that's not what's happening. And so if we can establish that from the get, then we're good. We can no longer establish that from the get go. So <sighs> yeah, today's, today's not going the way I hoped. Kato just noticed that his bed is in his room and here's our bed in pieces. So this is our room right now. Oh, I meant to bring measuring tape so I can measure this wall and I fully forgot it at the house. Oh, but there's one here. <laughs> Brilliant. And here's the kiddo's room. Ah! Oh my gosh, I love it, I love it. We came for this table specifically because it was in stock and there's legit not one table in this whole situation. Well, we're still without a dining room table, but we've got to eat all the same. So I'm making the first meal in the new place, some bacon for my son's dinner. Hello friends, happy Sunday. Happy first morning from the new place, holy crap i have so much so much at the front of my mind that like things are fighting for for like place in line for what i want to say first first of all you might recall maybe in the last episode might have been in this one i let y'all know that the ac is broken which was not ideal for sleeping i can now confirm that yeah it sucked um it's hot as hell in the house it's been hot as hell since we've been here it doesn't help that we haven't stopped moving. Sleep was hard. Um, something that made sleep even harder is that my son, and I knew that this was a possibility, but my husband and I both were like, it'll be fine. He's done so well being over there that it'll be absolutely no problem at all. When it came time for bath, he was kind of like, sus, but okay. And he went ahead and he took his bath and then it was like, okay, well now that you've taken your bath, now it's time for pajamas and we're gonna go to bed. He was like, funny, where's my shoes? And he spent the night in various degrees of, yeah, ha ha ha, let's, let's get our shoes and let's get going, ranging all the way to, A, this isn't funny anymore, let's go. Um, 
and we tried all sorts of different things like let's all sleep on the couch like a family let's sleep in mommy and daddy's room i'll lay down with you in your room and he was just like yeah that's cute but let's leave like i want to go to sleep i'm tired and i want to go home so i had to explain to him in every way that i could think of you know I know it's weird and I know that, you know, strange things are difficult sometimes and but mommy and daddy are here and we're going to be here with you and these are our, this is where our beds are now like even if we went back to the house our beds are not there where would we sleep like we very long story short he didn't fall asleep until 3:30 in the morning so my husband and I were awake for almost 24 whole hours straight and then the heat so it's been difficult Jeez Louise, happy freaking Sunday, bro. Hey friends, happy Monday morning. I completely forgot to do an outro last night. Um, yesterday was my sister's birthday. We did more moving things. We had people over, people. We had my parents and my brother over to watch a football game. Um, I baked my sister a pie. We brought it over to her house. She wasn't there, but we left it there all the same. And um, yeah, it was just a very, very busy day. There's a lot that I want to catch you all up on, but this video is already very long, and so I'm not going to extend it into Monday. I'm just going to go ahead and wrap it up here. I want to say thank you guys for coming along this ride with me, because it's been a doozy. And wait till you see the next episode, because like I said, I've got a few bombs to drop um, as soon as I finish wrapping here and starting the next episode. So. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, I hope that you'll please give it a big thumbs up. I'd also love it if you would subscribe and click that notification bell because I post at least three times a week and I wouldn't want you to miss a minute. Thanks so much again for watching. Bye.